Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're down on State Street in Binghamton in the heart of downtown to check out a brand new establishment called the Crowbar Arcade. Based on everything I've seen and heard, this place looks awesome. It's basically an arcade with a bar and it's got like a nostalgic looking feel to it based on everything I've seen so far. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Thank you to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon. Links to join them down in the video description. Let's get started. Just for reference real quick, the former social on state, the uh, kitchen counter is right here. And the crowbar arcade is down this side alley in this black painted building right here. And they even have that uh, sign up there, crowbar arcade. So yeah, we're gonna head in and check it out. The uh, establishment was nice enough to let me in just before hours. So we'll have a nice easy shot of the bar. And uh, yeah. All right, so we're inside. Let's check it out. We got a Star Wars game right here. Afterburner. Crazy Taxi. Oh my God, I was so good at that game growing up. I would occasionally get first place. So maybe I wasn't that good. Got the bar over here with the old school TVs. Love the static. Oh man, these TVs are so old, some of them. <laughs> Believe it or not, I had a TV roughly that size when I was very young. I mean, this might be the most fascinating part of the bar area right here. Got a nice collection of drinks over there. The cooler's not really lit up, but it looks like they have a big selection of drinks down there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it a little bit for you guys. Looks like they have a, some craft beers over there too, along with your standard Red Bull. Got a jukebox machine right over here. That might be the most interesting ATM I've ever seen. It's like built into the wall, that's really cool. And it looks like, uh, just like other arcades, you have a, a card purchasing area here where you can buy a card, reload, view your balance and redeem coupons or vouchers. I'll have to see if they have any prizes. Got a Area Site 4. I wonder if that's supposed to be like an Area 51 knockoff. I don't know. Got a nice leather seating couch over here with pool table. Very nice, very nice. Let's see what we got on this rack over here. Space Invaders. Donkey Kong, all right. The Phoenix. Some of these games I recognize, some of them not so much. I don't, this is an Atari game, but I don't remember ever playing this. Sorry, there's a little bit of a reflection from the window. Namco, Miss Pac-Man, all right. If you're into boxing, it looks like they got your uh, standard boxing punch machine over here. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna try not to say cool or awesome again. Skee-Ball. So Skee-Ball was definitely one of my favorite games growing up. However, at the Tropicana in Atlantic City when they had Travoli Pier, by the way, if anybody recognizes the name or that arcade, put it down in the comments. I did hit my chin on a pinball machine and have to get stitches. So that was no fun. A couple of classic uh, pinball games here. Sadly, looks like the one in the middle is getting some repair work done. Hopefully it feels better soon. So looking out the backside here, there's the uh, Doubletree uh, Double downtown. The Holiday Inn Hotel would be further down the street there. City Church of Binghamton, right across the street. 
Dance Dance Revolution. A game you'll never catch me playing because I have no dance skills. On the other side of that, we got NBA Jam, Terminator 2, and X-Men. Let me see if I can get a better shot of that for you. And then let's uh, take a look at this other aisle down here. And then we'll head upstairs and take a look there. Street Fighter 2. I remember that game. Marvel vs. Capcom. I've heard of that game, but never actually seen it. Got some nice seating areas over here. I'll have to ask and see if they have a menu. Got a little kitchen pickup window over there with a really nice sign attached to it. Let's head up the stairs. I didn't even realize this place had a second floor until they told me about it. So you have a little seating area here in the mezzanine with really nice looking uh, lava lamp lights. I think I had a couple of those growing up. <clears throat> All right, so we're upstairs in the loft. We've got another pool table with pool sticks and a chair. Time Crisis 4. Nice. Super Bikes. I was particularly good at Cruising USA. Basketball game here. Sadly, my basketball career never took off, so uh, probably won't win too many matches of that game. Fantastic view looking across State Street towards the Verizon building. And this is the uh, roof of the Forum over here. House of the Dead 4. <laughs> Lifelike violence strong. So probably not for your children, I'm guessing. Ah, oh, they do have Cruisin' USA. Except this one's like an offshoot of it called Cruisin' Exotica. It's basically the same concept, but like in more exotic foreign destinations, to use the name of the machine. Daytona USA. I had this game, I believe I had this game on the original PlayStation. So to see it here in a game format's pretty cool. Simpsons Bowling, although it doesn't appear to be working at the moment. Got another lounge here for sitting. Another mezzanine down this way with some tabletop games. Let's see, what do they got on the tabletop here? Oh, Tetris, all right. That's kind of cool. War, Wizard of War. Hope I said that right. Looks like another Tetris game. Interesting, never heard of that one. Come back downstairs here. I like the lighting aesthetic up above the ski ball. That's cool. This appears to just be another entrance right here. Well, there's your tour of the new arcade here, the Crowbar Arcade. Here's the uh, main bar area with the drinks on tap. I don't think I showed you guys that part. I like the Patrick stick on, that's cool. A lot of uh, drinkware there. Let me see. Uh, let me see if they have a menu. I see a menu right here. So they've got dogs. Munchies, Frito pie, flaming hot smothered Cheetos, popcorn. Is this the main menu or is this just yeah. the snack menu? Cool. The main menu, all right. Another interesting aspect of the Crowbar Arcade is that this is the Washington Street side of the building. You would never know this was an arcade. It kind of just looks like any old garage from this side of the building. 
So the stealthiness of it is really cool and appreciated. God, I've said cool and awesome like a thousand times in this video. I'm so sorry. Just lack of a script, I guess. It does appear that this fenced in area right here is going to be an outdoor seating area at some point, but I could be wrong about that. It just looks like it would make a really good one. And since they have a door right there, why not? So potentially a really awesome outdoor seating area on this very stealthy side of the building.